corporate America. I have been chosen by consumers worldwide to represent our sentiments as consumers. I wasn't chosen because some people think I look like the Harry Potter actor. No! No! It's because I have a British accent, which, when it comes down to it, sounds more intelligent than something said without a British accent. Something that you corporate types and big advertisers like to take advantage of. It could be mindless dribble, but throw in a British accent and voila, it just sounds smarter. Pathetic. All right, here's my point. We, the public who buy your stuff to fill your corporate pockets with revenue and expendable income, resent when you make stupid cliches that sound like non-cliches and you take yesterday's promises and turn them into tomorrow's dreams. Do you think we're dumb? We're, we're not. We we are not. What about dumb implications like, uh, take this and your erection will last for four hours. Four hours. It's quite good. All those, those axe commercials where the guy is all of a sudden the sexiest man alive just because he sprayed himself with axe. I mean, really. I have purchased every single variation of Axe and no supermodel has tried to throw herself at me. I have tried. Oh, those exercise machines that say they'll sculpt your body into an Adonis. I've got a garage full of them and I'm telling you, no way. No, no way. So I, like my fellow consumers, refuse to be taken in. We will no longer fall for cliches and promises that simply sound too good. How will we rise to that level of determination? Simple. I bought 14 collections of motivational DVDs at 2 a.m., which actually showed me the way. That's how. And I got all my friends to do the same. That's how. So don't try to fool us anymore. It won't work. Just like Harry Potter, when he refused to be tricked by he who shall not be named. We won't get tricked either. We're on to you. We know you want us. We know you need us.